come before the Lord and pray. On the eve of St James, tomorrow being the official day of the feast, let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 144 Praise be to the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. Lord, what are human beings that you care for them, mere mortals that you think of them? They are like a breath, their days are like a fleeting shadow. Part your heavens, Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Send forth lightning and scatter the enemy. Shoot your arrows and rout them. Reach down your hand from on high. Deliver me and rescue me from the mighty waters, from the hands of foreigners whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. I will sing a new song to you, my God. On the ten-stringed lyre I will make music to you, to the one who gives victory to kings, who delivers his servant David. From the deadly sword deliver me, rescue me from the hands of foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. Then our sons in their youth will be like well-nurtured plants, and our daughters will be like pillars carved to adorn a palace. Our barns will be filled with every kind of provision. Our sheep will increase by thousands, by tens of thousands in our fields. Our oxen will draw heavy loads. There will be no breaching of walls, no going into captivity, no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed is the people of whom this is true. Blessed is the people whom God is the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verses 11 to 20. Now, what I am commanding you today is not too difficult for you or beyond your reach. It is not up in the heavens so that you have to ask, who will ascend to heaven to get it and proclaim it to us so we may obey it? Nor is it beyond the sea, so you have to ask, who will cross the sea to get it and proclaim it to us so we may obey it? No, the word is very near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart 
so you may obey it. See, I set before you today life and prosperity, death and destruction. For I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him, and to keep his commands, decrees and laws. Then you will live and increase, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away and you are not obedient, and if you are drawn away to bow down to other gods and worship them, I declare to you this day you will certainly be destroyed. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. This day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live and that you may love the Lord your God. Listen to his voice and hold fast to him. For the Lord is your life and he will give you many years in the land he swore to give to your fathers Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us rejoice and exult and give glory and homage to our God. Salvation and glory and power belong to our God whose judgments are true and just. Praise our God, all you his servants, all who fear him, both small and great. The Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding banquet of the Lamb. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Let us rejoice and exult and give glory and homage to our God. Hebrews 8 Now, the main point of what we are saying is this. We do have such a high priest who sat down at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven and who serves in the sanctuary, the true tabernacle set up by the Lord, not by mere human beings. Every high priest is appointed to offer both gifts and sacrifices, and so it was necessary for this one also to have something to offer. If he were on earth, he would not be a priest, for there are already priests who offer the gifts prescribed by the law. They serve at a sanctuary that is a copy and shadow of what is in heaven. This is why Moses was warned when he was about to build the tabernacle. See to it that you make everything according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. But in fact the ministry Jesus has received is as superior to theirs as the covenant of which he is the mediator is superior to the old one since the new covenant is established on better promises. For if there had been nothing wrong with that first covenant, no place would have been sought for another. But God found fault with the people and said, The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors, when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt, because they did not remain faithful to my covenant, and I turned away from them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will establish with the people of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds and write them on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. 
No longer will they teach their neighbour or say to one another, Know the Lord, because they will all know me, from the least of them to the greatest. For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. By calling this covenant new, he has made the first one obsolete. And what is obsolete and outdated will soon disappear. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is the light of my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Lord is the strength of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. You have done great things, O God, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have done great things, O God, and holy is your name. Lord, we come before you this evening and we bring our thanks and praise for all this day has been, for the blessings, the opportunities, the challenges and the joys. Father, as we come before you, we pray for all who at this time suffer in body, mind and spirit. We pray for those who this day have found themselves taken into hospital. We pray for those this day who struggle with poor health. We pray for those whose loved ones bring concern and pain, bring sadness. Father God, we've come to you this night and we lift before you all that is on our hearts and minds, all that is within us and around us. Father, as we come and reflect upon the day and the needs of the world, the peace that the world cannot find, touch us, fill us, and as we lead into the final third of our day, Father God, be with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father God, we look at the things of the world this night for the places where there are terrible happenings, for the life of a man who is feared dead 
in an avalanche on K2. A Scotsman who was climbing and an avalanche took him away in the India in Himachal Pradesh a rock slide has destroyed a bridge and killed some tourists and father as we look at the news as we look at the situation as Tunisians take to the streets of Tunis to demand the government stands down over its handling of the corona pandemic as we find more kidnappings in Nigeria as Ethiopia and the Amhara region call on the residents holding arms to mobilize against Tigray the very northernmost area in that region Father God as civil leaders stir up even more tension we pray for that region for Ethiopia especially for Amhara and Afghan and Tigray and for of course Eritrea as they border where the conflicts are and as we pray China is lashed by storms as the typhoon continues to lash into the place and knock it about Father God we pray tonight that you would bring your peace that you would bring your wholeness and health into every part of this globe the Lord you would bring your peace and that your light would shine and your healing and love would be known in all lands Lord in your mercy hear our prayer and Father God we lift to you the people on our hearts and minds now by name we pray for the people whose needs we know of for the places whose needs we know of for the situations and Lord we pray especially for those who know loss as a 14 year old motorbike rider died in a race in Spain today Father as we pray for those now that we love and know we ask that you would hear our prayer Merciful God, whose holy apostle St. James, leaving his father and all that he had, was obedient to the calling of your Son Jesus Christ and followed him even to death. Help us, forsaking the false attractions of the world, to be ready at all times to answer your call without delay. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and for ever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Thank you for being with us. Have a good evening. Sleep well. May you wake refreshed tomorrow. And for those who will join us, we look forward to seeing you later. Bye for now.